It's a hard pill to swallow, Bronco Nation, but after battling it out tonight, Boise State came up just short in overtime in the Mountain West title game. Our Jay Test and Will Hall are live at Albertson Stadium. Guys, I imagine it's a bit of a somber tone out there tonight. Yeah, uh, it is, Gretchen. I, I'd say that the atmosphere matches kind of the mood. It's cold, it's wet, and uh, not a whole lot to be happy about if you're a member of Bronco Nation, I guess. This was a day for Bronco Nation that started with so much promise, hopes of potentially mm. playing in a Fiesta Bowl with a little bit of help and a win here on the blue tonight. Ultimately, in the end, it ends in heartbreak. All right, let's get to these highlights. Boise State hosting the Mountain West Conference Championship game for the second consecutive year, taking on a ranked top 25 Fresno State team for the second straight year. To the highlights we go. What a fantastic atmosphere on hand on the blue tonight. The entire team carrying out the hammers. Yeah, it was a cool sight to see. And by the way, how about some of the alums that were in attendance? Jay Ajay, Cedric Wilson, and of course, the wolf hunter himself, Leighton <laughs> Van Der Esch. Fresno State striking first in this one. Marcus McMurray in the touchdown pass to the corner of the end zone. That's Micaiah Quick. Bulldogs ahead, 7-zip. That came just two plays after a very odd turnover, by the way. Back to the highlights, though, we go. And how about this touchdown toss from Brett Rippon? It slips right through the defender's hands and into Sean Monsters. By the way, Will, great shot here. Hey, I appreciate it. You know, sometimes you get lucky, though, <laughs> with the posi positioning there. We're all tied up at 7. And then the snow arrives on the blue. Where'd the blue go? It turned to white. Turnover here. Avery Williams forcing the fumble, and he recovers it. Go sit in the turnover throne, Avery. Could they make the most of it? The answer to that is no. And before halftime, Fresno State would go on a little drive kick a field goal, and take a three-point advantage into the locker room. Speaking of halftime, as you can tell in these shots, the snow really starting to come down, especially in the third quarter. Kudos to Broncos, Bronco Nation for sticking it out. The attendance at this one, 23,662, and they were loud. They got maybe their loudest right here. Alexander Madison, a 34-yard touchdown run. This tied the game. The Broncos would miss the ensuing PAT with a chance to take the lead, though. 13-13, we head to overtime. Boise State with a field goal on their possession. Fresno State, their possession, the game-winning touchdown there. The Bulldogs into the end zone. They shock Boise State on the blue tonight, 19-16 the final. Here's Coach Harson after the game. I'm certainly proud of our team and what we were able to accomplish this season and how hard our guys fought. We just came up short, and the bottom line is that's what it comes down to. You've got to find a way to win, and we just didn't get it done. For one, definitely losing out on the blue. Um, that's something that we don't do. Um, this championship, you know, was an opportunity for us to go out there and uh, uh, leave a legacy with th those seniors. So um, it is disappointing that we couldn't send them out that way. Um, but yeah, most definitely is not the great feeling. We asked Coach Harson about that missed PAT that could have given Boise State the lead late in the fourth quarter. And he said that if he had an answer for some of their special teams miscues all season long, the problems wouldn't still be happening. He called that one inexcusable though. Yeah, a tough one on the blue, especially for this senior class. Hard to believe. We've most likely seen all these seniors, including Brett Rippon, play his final game on the blue. Yeah, Brett tonight battled the conditions. He was 15 of 31 for 124 yards and a touchdown. Not the typical stat line that we're used to seeing Brett post, but he fought tonight. Here's what he had to say after the game. Man, you know, those fans have meant a lot to me. And, uh, you know, this whole university has really meant a lot. And, uh, you know, I'd say it was tough, but, you know, I'm, uh, I'm just blessed that I was uh, able to play here for four years, for sure. You know, one thing that was kind of a moving moment here at Albertson Stadium tonight, long after the game ended and the players were able to kind of digest what just happened, Brett still took the time to make his lap around the stadium long after many of other players had already completed it. And you could see right there, Bronco Nation has meant a lot to him. He was moved to tears talking about them. Certainly was tough to see number four walk off this blue field for likely the last time mm -hmm. in his career with a loss. A tough one tonight. Mm -hmm. So what's next? Boise State <laughs> finishes 10-3 and three after the Mountain West Championship game. We will learn their bowl fate tomorrow afternoon.
afternoon. Coach Harston will have a press conference. At 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, he'll meet with the media. Yeah, we'll send it back to you, Gretchen. And right now, it's really tough to peg where the Broncos could be playing. Uh, maybe an outside chance they play in the Potato Bowl. There's a couple of games in uh, mid to late December in Dallas that are still in play. Maybe the Frisco Bowl or the Fort Worth Bowl. but. Well, we won't know until tomorrow right around 3 o'clock when we meet with Coach Harson. Back to you, Gretchen. All right, tough loss, guys. Thanks for that report.